Okay. We are, this is this is the super fight, man. You know what I'm saying? I've been waiting for, you know. As soon as I seen this was um this was um um uh it, it was set up, you know, it was it was set up to for them to fight again. I was like, yeah, like you know what I'm saying? Hey, listen. And this fight right here, I don't care who wins. I just want to see a four-time champion at 154. That's all I want to see. It's just no different for the heavyweight division. I want to see a four-time heavyweight champion. Well, yesterday, um, um, uh, Alexander, he bumped into um, Tyson Fury. And Alexander told him, I'm going to beat you easy. He said, I'm going to beat you easy to his face. And, and Tyson Fury is not really that big over him. It's not that much bigger than him. Like, you know, they almost, they was almost matched up pretty good. You know what I'm saying? So, as anybody know, I took Alexander to beat Tyson Fury in that four title fight. Like you know I'm saying? But, to make it clear, Alexander has to beat Anthony Joshua again in the rematch. Okay? So, let's get off of that. You know what I'm saying? We're going to talk about Jamel Charlo and Brian Costello. The first fight was awesome. I, 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 was, I was jumping up and down in my chair. I was like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Get it, you know what I'm saying? So, so, but remember, Jamel was laid off for a little while. He hasn't fought in a, in a while. So when he fought in when he fought in that fight, he had ring rust. And this fight, he's not gonna have no ring rust. It's gonna be because he's active from the from the first fight. If anybody understands, so and he's gonna come into this fight. He's gonna fight different. Uh. I think he's gonna punch harder. He's gonna fight better, and he's gonna be more. You know. So I took Jamel by knockout in this fight. I did it the first time. I did. I got it. Me. I took him by knockout the first time, and he almost got it. You know what I'm saying? On this fight, I believe he's gonna definitely stop Brian. You know what I'm saying? Brian already showed he can't take his power. Brian already showed he can't take his power. Jamel took his power. You know what I'm saying? I keep saying he hurt him. He did not hurt Jamel in that fight. Understand that? Jamel was still there. Like you know, you gotta understand that. You gotta know when the fighter really gets hurt. You got to know that. Like, you know what I'm saying? So now, to make it clear, I don't have no beef with Brian Castano's people. I don't know why they keep coming in here and attacking me and being disrespectful. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was almost right the first fight. Nobody can't tell me I wasn't. Like, right? And, and Jamel actually won that fight. He hurt Castano a lot more times than Castano hurt him in that fight. You know what I'm saying? So y'all got to understand that. Understand how they scored the fight. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, yo, man, I can't wait till we see this fight, man. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so if you like the video, put a thumbs up. If you dislike the video, put a thumbs down. And it's okay. You know what I'm saying? Jamel is taking, uh, Jamel is taking that fourth title. It's going to be a four-time champion. Remember, it's a three-time champion in front of Brian. This is the second time he's doing fighting a three-time champion. His whole life. His whole career. You know what I'm saying? Understand that. The first time. And the first time he almost got knocked out. This is the second time he's getting in front of Jamel. Jamel is going to do the readjustments in this fight. To make it right. Like, you know what I'm saying? He's going to correct the mistakes he made. Castano is going to fight the same way. He's going to fight the same way. That's another thing with him. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, thumbs up. Thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe.